As I experimented with AI voices before, we're gonna do the same, but with two actors now. Ian McDermott is gonna voice Sidious, and James Earl Jones, of course, returns for Darth Vader. This is an interesting issue, because part four of Hidden Empire now brings us to a very interesting turn of events. Kira and the Crimson Dawn have stolen an, an ancient artifact named the Fermata Cage. In this cage, an ancient Sith Lord has been suspended in time. He was so dangerous that even the Sith decided to do so. Now, Kira and her archivist are trying to unleash the Sith. With a failed attempt previously, this gave out a beacon in the Force, alerted both the Emperor and Vader to come to the planet where it was first attempted. The red sun glows from above, lighting the surface ever so slightly as the two Sith are stunned. Lord Vader, tell me. You were in close proximity to the Fermata Cage. Lady Kira claimed it contains an ancient Sith Lord trapped inside for an age. Did you sense such a presence? I sensed a great intensity of the dark side, my master. Nothing more. This troubles Sidious to his core. He senses his apprentice's doubt, and he wants to make something for Lord Vader very, very clear. It has been some time since I last used my lightsaber, my apprentice. Bar with me. Of course, my master. If there is a Sith inside the Fermata cage, then there would be three. You, me, and this other. But there can be only the master and the apprentice. It is perhaps the only true law of the Sith. The rule of two must be enforced. If necessary, I shall enforce it. Enough, Lord Vader. That is enough. Kira knows we can sense her attempts to open the Fermata cage. The next time she tries, she knows we will come. We have no choice. It is a beautiful trap, well laid. The woman undoubtedly believes herself clever. Indeed, perhaps she is. Certainly brighter than the dim light of Maul. She will be missed. It is very apparent that Kira has outsmarted both Seth at this point. Sidious goes as far as to hurl a slight insult to Darth Maul, but in the end, Kira has given both Palpatine and Vader no choice. It's going to be interesting to see how they deal with the Fermata Cage in the next issue, because they encounter the problem later in this issue, but we're going to discuss the culmination of all of this further down the line when it releases. What did you guys think about AI voices? It's becoming a very interesting time, especially for content creators. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for dailies. Now you have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you. Until then.